What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Jay 88 Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel for the latest in hip-hop vlogs, hip-hop documentaries, battle rap, recap, predictions, all that good stuff going down the channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. Going down the channel, stay tuned, y'all. Yeah. Alright, finally the trenches anniversary car going down this Saturday, August 10th. Commentary by Vitafly, Showtime SP, salute to them. Hosted by T-Rex and I believe Johnny Mac. I think the pay-per-view battle start at 3 o'clock p.m. Make sure you go on Gutter City TV to go ahead and get it. Be around the tri-state area. Make sure you're in the building. I'm going to try to be in the building. If not, I'm definitely going to get ahead and cop the pay-per-view. Guys support battle rap, especially in this time with all the nonsense and gossip. So we finally getting some battles here. As a matter of fact, from now, I think until September 14, 15, we're getting mad battles. So you're going to see me a little more on the algorithm, speaking my piece and giving my opinion. So let's not waste any time. I'm going to go ahead and focus on these four battlers. Four battles, I'm sorry, since I'm more familiar with their content. So let's not waste any time and get into these predictions. Yeah. All right, so the fourth to last battle on the card that I'm going to focus on is Riggs versus Tex Sago, I think. Tex Swago, something of that nature. But Tex, I first heard, heard of him when he battled Jay Moore. He did his thing. I was honestly surprised because he got some bars, man. But the thing is, his bars can apply to anyone. And that's the thing with street battlers. Like, their bars can apply to anyone. You can just, like, say, my mom sold so much soap. She, I, I almost got clean or something like that. Like, kind of fought fire a little bit but yeah so you can say bars like that and it can apply to anyone so it's like it's not too much direct it's just for like shock value and if you battling somebody who's experienced especially somebody who can freestyle rebuttal yo you might be in trouble to be honest with you, you if if you battle somebody who's like a novice or just starting off you will get by because they like fire but if you battle somebody in experience yo you're gonna need more in your arsenal no pun intended but yeah, Tex, I know he's been back and forth on the Angry Fan platform. Shout out to Angry Fan, going back and forth with Riggs. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this battle because Tex said he's going to go ahead and 30 Riggs, which, to be honest with you, man, I like the confidence, but I, I don't know, man. Riggs is mad experience. He, he actually 30 Av, and they vaulted the footage. The URL vaulted the footage. And yes, he did 30 Av. He had a fire battle against A Ward. He had a fire battle against Danny Myers. Battle against Gichi Gotti. He beat K Walker in the trenches. I think he beat Snake Eyes. Briggs has been active for like about a good seven plus years to, uh, to my knowledge. Uh, but this, this should be a very, very high intense battle. Lyricism, wittiness, punchlines. I think Briggs, his, his uh, material is a little more layered. So I think actual writers will be, will appreciate his material more. And I think will translate better on camera because the comments ain't going to say, oh, he's basic such and such. He's, this, these bars don't apply to anyone. So. For that reason, I think Riggs, he has more experience and he's the underdog and his, most of his battles are like away games. I think when he had like a couple of home battles over the past, like since the pandemic or a little bit before the pandemic. So he's used to these away games and Tex, he's, he's the hometown favorite and he might get the, the gas, quote unquote, so to say. But Philly's a tough crowd and they'll, they'll boo anyone and they won't cheer for anyone. But I think Riggs, he knows how to fight in these uh in these tough situations he did against k walker he pretty much he made the crowd respect him i think he's going to do that for this battle so with that being said i got Riggs winning this battle 2-1 clear as the underdog since he is away from home so i got Riggs winning the battle 2-1 third to last battle on the card we got aver versus sirius jones a grudge match they've been going back and forth finally over the past week and a half i know aver passes back and forth for hitman holla you know the whole Gerald McCoy sponsor thing. Like it might get like it might get physical, and we don't want to see that in battle rap. I don't. I'm just here for the bars and what's leading up to it. I don't. I don't, I don't care about the back and forth and what's going on behind the scenes, man. It, it's just gossip in my opinion. But you know, um, Averb said like I think today like he's gonna give 10 percent, which he's not gonna give 10 percent. It's just a psych out mode. He's he's probably he's probably writing right now, and he's probably gonna do the same thing he did in the A War battle psych. Psych the opponent out, they not take it serious, you know, spaces all day. I know Averb, he also said he has some family issues. Hope everything works out because family issues are definitely, definitely prioritized over everything in life. But um, if he does go to the battle, um, I think he'll do I think he'll do enough to win the battle. It won't be his best performance. Like I, to be honest with you, I stand I mark this today. This will not be one of Averb's best performances, but I think he'll do enough to win the battle in the building. Thing with Sirius Jones is he's fire, but his style is kind of it's kind of dated. It's, it's it's appreciated in ciphers, and if you look back on camera, you don't be losing like that. To be honest with you, but you gonna see in the comments, man, his style's dated, and people might get I mean drawn out and everything like that. The Philly crowd is tough. I don't think they're gonna boo, but they might not react at all. Verb, I think his style is more common, not common, more his palette of rapping is more 
appreciated now and it's more, I guess, celebrated now because he knows what to say and how to say it to pretty much get the crowd on his, on his, uh, crowd on his side. And he's used to these situations. Um, sh- Shotgun Shug, he did a fire battle against Shotgun Shug, did his thing against Easy to Block Captain, one rounder against Hollow Dom, fire. A Ward, fire, I think he edged that battle. And even though Averb said he's on 10%, I think he's going to give, like, once again, as I mentioned, 67%. So this won't be a verb's most memorable performance. I know Easy was getting on him too about promoting the battle, but I don't think a verb's gonna sabotage it as well. I just don't think he's gonna give his all due to what he has going on. So with that being said, even though with what a verb has going on, I still have him winning this battle 2-1 edge and on camera. It honestly might be Sirius Jones 2-1, but in that case, since I said that, debatable battle. Live Averb on camera, Sirius Jones 2-1. Second to last battle we got in the car, we got Howlin' Don versus Av. A lot of people say this battle is kind of random. It's not. I've been calling out Howl and Don for a while, and they finally got it booked on the trenches. I know Howl's been getting on Av on the tweets all the time. Av, he likes to take the grown man approach. Show and prove, which he does. Av with the punchlines. Like, his punchlines always hit no matter where he's at, which is a plus. So I know he's going to get the Philly crowd on his side. So Hollow, yo, you have to hit with those rebuttals and freestyles because Philly is not going to give it up as easy, which you already know. No pun intended. So, with that being said, if Av is on 100, I got him winning this battle 2-1, but if Hollow can pretty much navigate the angles, rebuttals, freestyles with his material, I think he'll do enough to edge the battle in the building, but if it's hit or miss, I definitely have Av winning this battle 2-1, and since I'm a betting man, Av has punchlines that he, he knows how to deliver them, uh, unique, Av doesn't have like, he says material that's not common, like, if I hear an ab punchline, I know I'm not going to hear that from anybody else. Same thing with Rum Nitty as well. So with that being said, I think it's a show and prove for Ab and he wins this battle. It's an important battle for Ab because he's a high risk, low reward battler, which is a high risk because if you beat him, it's not really much going on. But if you lose to him, it's like, damn, like you, you're, you're back down to where you before. So with that being said, I got uh, Ab winning the battle 2-1. And finally, we got the main event, Easy the Block Captain going against Ill Will. To be honest with you, yo, Easy the Block Captain, man, yo, you have to win this battle, yo. Because if not, it's going to be three straight losses. And these three guys here are anglers. Charlie Clips is an angler. So to be honest, Charlie Clips, I think he's going to lose, but, but he won that battle, surprisingly. 2 1. Ichi Gotti, 2 1. Ill Will's an angler as well. And he could also freestyle, and he's funny. So it's like, yo, he has the funny factor, which, um, Charlie Clips is the funny factor too. Like it's like the same thing. It's like yo, it's like easy to block captains battling like three of the same people. Cause like Geechee, Clips, and Ill Will, they have all have the same attributes. So like yo, easy, you have to be on a hundred. If not, it's gonna be another. It's gonna be a three game losing streak. And you at home too, man, yo. But you need those big battles because you're on a certain stature. You can't be battling like some another like mid tier card person because you had a hitman and it only goes up from there. But Yo, these three people that you got in the row, man, uh, I don't know about that, yo, but if, if the crowd doesn't give it up for ill will, easy might edge this out because Philly's a tough crowd, but if ill will gets the crowd on his side and everything lands, man, ill will 2-1. But um, to be honest with you, live in the building, I'm going to have Easy edging this because he is home, but on camera, I promise you, Ill Will will take this battle 2-1. Well, that's my prediction. On camera, Ill Will 2-1 in the building, Easy 2-1. So yeah, that's my prediction of the Trenches car going down this Saturday. Make sure you get the pay-per-view of not being in the building this Saturday. I think 3, 4 p.m. it starts. So yeah, check it out. I'll probably be back on here as well to give my recap of the, uh, of the battles as well on the card. So... Stay tuned. I'm going to have more recaps, more predictions coming up. This is going to be a crazy five, six, five, six weeks of battle rap. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.